Claudio, congratulations, massive win. What has the last four years been like for you? Man, the last four years was like a hell, you know. I, I was coming from two UFC victories, so that fight supposed to happen four years ago, and I broke my foot in 2015, and then in two months time I broke another one. And man, that's so emotional for me, you know. That comeback means everything for me. And my family was telling me, man, just give up. What are you doing for your life? You have two UFC uh, victories. But um, man, it's everything for me, you know, fight here in my hometown. I, I'm cons I consider London, uh, Grand Bretagne as my hometown, because that's the place that the happiest moments in my life happened to me. As I said before, I came here as a legal immigrant. I was kicked out to overstay here, you know. And I came back and man, what a great comeback, you know. London was the place that I made my debut and come back here in front of that crowd, Liverpool. The Liverpool fans, man, they're amazed and I never feel so loved as an athlete. I was walking the street, man, I was like uh, crazy, you know. I was feeling like uh, a celebrity because everyone was like, ah, can I have a picture, can I have a picture? Wow, man, that's, man, that's, I don't know, man, I'm just so happy, you know. Love this country, man. The happiest things happen to me right here. Dana White, happiest moments in London. In Grand Bretagne, I wanted my 50 key, baby. <laughs> that's my, by the way, that's my first uh, finishing UFC, you know. So what did it feel like coming back after such a long day? Did it feel different? You know, did you have to sort of, did you have to acclimatize yourself in some way? Uh, what I did for that fight, you know, I had a coach, a mental coach. I never believed in that thing, you know, before people tell me you need a mental coach. I was laughing, saying, man, I'm a fighter, man. I have a strong mind, I don't need that, you know. When I got that fight, I was really heavy, man. I was 100 kilos, and confidence was down a little bit. Started like a, that, uh, that, that, that mental health thing, mental coach work with uh, Coach Beton, thanks a lot, and uh, Result speak for himself. Look at him now. The, uh, the, the, the opponent was telling some trash talk about me, say like I was a, a chicken because I couldn't fight him. Well, BJJ solves everything. <laughs> Wow, the guy is strong, you know, he's a, he's a warrior, the guy is strong, he's well rounded in UFC, he's 6'2 before, now he's 6'3, so, wow, if I attack the neck, there's no way to, to run away, you know, he can be strong, he can be whatever, but if he doesn't tap, he will slip, slip, <laughs> have sweet dreams. This was, this was easily your best UFC performance, and you seemed... You seem much more aggressive and much more relaxed right from the beginning of the fight. Is that a fair, is that a fair comment? But did it feel different in there tonight? Well, man, that's the thing, you know, when I fought my two UFC fights, I had the whole pressure on my back, you know. When I first make, made my debut here in London, and then the second time I, I fought in Uberland, that's where I come from, that's my hometown in Brazil. So, man, my uncle just came to me and said, listen, my boy, if you lost that fight, you're going to be the remembers the losers of the, that city for your next six generation. So I think I was carrying a lot of weight on my back, you know. So that time I was feeling like, man, you know what? I'm going to enjoy the journey every single moment. I'm going to relax. And I think before I was more aggressive than that time, you know, because I, I just come to bang and try to chase the takedown, get tired. But I think now, uh, as I said, I'm more relaxed and I'm enjoying to be in the cage. So. Yeah, you talked about um, your family maybe saying, you know, you could retire now, maybe don't go back, you've had the injuries. How close were you to that? What was your mindset? Were you ever contemplating it? Man, I would never give up. I would never qu uh, quit my job, you know. That's my job. That's uh, fight martial arts is what I breathe. This is my religion. And I want to fight more than I want to live. I want to fight more than I want to breathe, you know. So I'm, I'm, uh, I just want to take some time off. And then I can't wait to come back again, feel that adrenaline, that uh, that feeling again, you know. So can't wait for the fight again. Yeah, just quickly, back into this fight, there was a point in time um, where he was doing quite well on the feet, but then when you're in that scramble on the ground, he went for the leg lock. Were you thinking then he's, he's made a tactical error there because he allowed himself to stay on the ground? Well, I gave my foot to him, you know. I, this is a trap. You cannot, you cannot uh, swim in my, in my river, you know. If you're going to do that, that's what's going to happen. You're going to draw. You're going to die, you know. So I'm a BJJ high-level black belt, you know. I'm learning Brazil. I train with the best in the world. So that was a massive mistake for him, you know. Always give the leg and take the back. That's what happened.
Yeah. All my English. <laughs> Do I deserve a black belt in English? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.